is threatening to get serious. They're dropping fast towards the bottom of Division 1 as informed St Mirren climb to mid-table respectability. They met at Newcombe Bowie. This game had everything at Kilbao Park. St Mirren taking the lead in 11 minutes. Canadian Paul Finnick, that's his second goal in as many games. Jimmy Bone's men dominated the first 45 and almost made it 2-0. The well-worked move, Mark Yardley sending the opportunity. Not too far away. Clydebank weren't really seen as an attacking force in the first half. The final ball, more often than not, letting them down. Then, four minutes from the interval, Saints were reduced to ten men. Saints defender Martin Baker and Bankey's midfielder Graham Connell clashing there as they challenged for the ball. Baker appeared to pull Connell's leg as he tried to get up. Baker had already been booked, and so the referee didn't hesitate. He produced the second yellow card, and with it, the red variety. Obviously, a few words from Jimmy Bone at half-time, and his ten-men team came out fired up looking for more goals. Barry Lovetti beating the defence, a great save, though, from Gary Matthews. Cross comes in, but eventually it's cleared. 51 minutes gone, Saints went two up. The cross to the back post, Yardley knocking it down, and young Ricky Gillis with the volley. A class finish from the youngster. A few minutes later, Banky's got one back. Quite a strike coming up from Gary Bowman. Giving goalkeeper Money no chance whatsoever, the home side back in the game. Then for Saints, the ten men became nine. Paul Lovering bringing down Jim Dick, a clear foul. But Dick retaliated. Not happy with that. Clearly a foul against him. But Dick had something to say, so the referee decided to red card him. Yellow card for Lovering, but it was the early bat. So the Saints down to nine men. Could they hang on against the Bankies? Not surprisingly, the home side finished the stronger. Campbell Money saving there from Miller. He gets it back, he knocks it into the net, but from an offside position. It was all Clyde Bank now as nine-man Saints try to hang on for the three points. The ball into the box, Miller challenged money, no foul given. The Saints survive. Tomorrow night, it's Dunfermline in the Cup.